Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 17th of September 2022. My apologies, it's still uh, early afternoon here. The temperature is too hot to switch off the air conditioning. It just can't be done. And so I will be playing the game sounding like a Dalek. Uh, okay, and uh, this is the New York Times hard level game. Uh, nice enough for a Saturday. I think I'm being oh, I'm such a lazy Saturday. I'm doing absolutely nothing today. But I did, I tell a lie, I did some work early in the morning. But um, once that was done, I've been watching TV, snoozing, eating, snoozing, watching TV, and snoozing. Not necessarily in that order. Right, okay, I can see a couple of things already. So uh, maybe we've given, been given a generous start here. I'm not sure how the game will go on. It's the New York Times hard level never can quite tell but generally pretty tough so I see the one in those squares there uh, we also have one uh, blocking up like so so I'm going to put one there we've got a one up here and a one up. oh it's nice when you get some traction with digit one if you're counting through from one to nine right <laughs> normally for me it only happens on digit normally I find to get some traction on digit nine or something uh, when it's when I've looked for ages and not found anything. Uh, okay. Uh, speaking of digit nine, I do see the nines blocking across there and the nine going up there, so we get ourselves a very quick nine there. <clears throat> Okay, we've got a 6 and a 7 blocking across this row, which puts 6 and 7 into these two squares. 6 and 7. So 6 up there, 6 would be down here, 7s also somewhere up there, also down here. Hmm, okay. 6 and 7, not quite. Not quite enough yet, but um, okay, that's a little something. Anyway, that looks quite nice. Ah, we have three <laughs> back on this block here. Uh, we got three blocking across here, so we can place our three there actually. Oh, and we've got three up here. Excuse me, three up here, so that means three is in one of those two squares. We'll say blocking down three across these two rows. That puts a three there. We've got one and a two next to each other, adjacent. Nice and easy to uh, see like that. Quite often when digits are far apart, they're trickier. But when you have a nice couple of side-by-side -side numbers, and especially when you've got like this, one and two up here side-by-side, -side, uh, they appear very nicely, don't they? Okay, so one and two limited to these two squares. Knowing that we have one and two there. What do we know? Well, we know the 8 blocks across here and the 8 blocks up here, so 8 in one of those squares. 8's blocking back in this direction, put some 8 into that square. And I should think about it again, 1 and 2 here. Uh, 1 and 2 here. So in these squares, we need 6, 7, 9, I think. Uh, 9, 6. No. Okay, not yet. <clears throat> not yet, not yet. Uh, but anyway, let's have another look at this uh, block here. Now we know one and two. Are there anything else we can get? We've got nines across here, so that puts nine in those squares, which is not going to help. We've got nines like this. Nines like this. And nines like this, wow. <laughs> That's a very uh, 
symmetrical type of pattern in places and um, so what else do we know what's missing up here so we're looking for fours six seven fours six seven Oh, whoa, 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 six, seven block across here. So six, seven, I said before, are in these squares, right? So this can't be six or seven, it must be four. That is going to put four in this square because we've got fours blocking here, 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 and here. So we get ourselves a digit four there. <clears throat> Uh, knowing this is six, uh, this is six and seven. Is there anything else we can do? Twos. What's happening on the twos? Twos are there and there. Hold on. Let's have a look at this. What's six and seven? So in these squares, two and. Three. Five, any help? Two or five? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> uh, missing across this row is four. Five and eight. So we've got the four and the eight. Anyway, so that's five blocking across there. So five blocks down here. So five is not allowed here, and we already know these two squares are six and seven. So five is there, and I think two is there as well, right? All right, two blocks across like this. Two blocks down here. Is two still possible in this square? I think, ah, uh, maybe. No, because this is six or seven, right? Okay, this is five and two. <laughs> Sorry, that's very laboured of me, I know. We've got six and seven here. We've got five and two here. This has to be the eight. So eight blocking down here, eight across these two rows. Put some eight there. Uh, missing from down here is uh, one, six, seven, I think. What do we know about sevens? Oh, seven, yeah, one, six, seven down here. Oh, I can get this, can't I? Uh, I said this is 5 and 2, so I should put this number in quickly before I go any further. Uh, that's a 4 then. And 4 blocking down here and here, so that's a 4. Do we know about this column? Uh, well, I can see... Oh, no. So we're missing f 5, 6, 7, I think.
this square here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh no, six, seven. Ah, eight is one of our missing numbers across here, right? Blocking across here. I'm not playing this very methodically today. It's very higgledy-piggledy, my apologies. But sometimes I'm in a higgledy-piggledy kind of mood. Uh, along here we're looking for five, six, seven, I guess. And don't know... Okay, I remember now I had nines blocking down here, nine blocking down. I said earlier I said nine in those two squares down and nine blocking across here, so I can't go there now, so I know that the nine must be in that square. And now we've got nine across and across here, nine must go there. Seven is another number that's annoying me. Seven is the number that is annoying me. I should get my grammar right. Um, uh, let me revisit this up here. I, earlier on, I said one and two in these two squares, right? I haven't looked at it since. We've done quite a bit of messing around, so there might be more opportunity now. Uh, so I know that 1 and 2 are in these squares, now that means that, come back and look at this again, 1 and 2 are there, so we are looking for 6, 7, 9 in these squares, 6, nine. no, nothing's changed, still haven't got those, damn. Okay, how about this though, 1 and 2 are up here, now what else do we know, 9, okay, now we know, no, no, we don't. <laughs> Oops. No, we don't. We still have 9 in these squares here. Uh, 1 and 2. And we still have 8 in these squares. So nothing changed there. Two, nine. No, nothing's really changed up here. Hmm.
Oh dear, not really uh, doing too well here. Let me um, think again about this six and seven. Do you know I didn't look down here, did I? Or did I? Six, seven in these squares. So we are left with two, five. Is that right in these squares? Two, five. That's two, five, wasn't it? So this is two, five. Yeah, no, don't have anything there. I think I did actually look there before, so. Oh well, oh well. In this block here, I just know that fives are there and twos are there, but the sixes and sevens are, well, we've got a blocking six here, but the sevens we don't know anything about, so I'm not getting anywhere with that. Up here, I know threes are there, uh, and I know fives are like this, so three, five. Uh, six blocks up here, six is in one of these two squares. Seven, I don't know anything about. And nine is still in those squares. Well, I think it's down to the old pencil marks again for me. I was hoping to get uh, to the end of this one, but I don't think I can. Um, I don't see it. Um, Let's have another look down at this bottom row down here. What have we got? We've got nine, eight, so then three, four, one, three, four, one, but um three, four, one, anything else blocking down here? So threes are like this, fours are like this. Ones can still go like that. Uh, not that, sorry. Ones are like this, I should say.
Okay, I give up. Right, let's get on and finish the game. Sorry about that. Rather longer delay than uh, was warranted. Um, six and seven go in those squares there. The six and seven go in these two squares here. And two and five go there. Uh, down here we have a one in those squares. We have uh, six in those squares, and we have seven anywhere. So one, six, seven. The missing numbers here and here are two and five still. And then over here, um, what do we have? I know the fives are in. Uh, two, sorry, are in this these squares and the fives are in this square here. We've got fours here. We've got uh, eights like this. Oops. And we've got fives anywhere. Um, we have fours as a pair here. We have threes as a pair here. What else do we know? How about up here? We have one, oh yeah, the one and two in here that I mentioned before. And uh, we have eights in these squares, I remember. Um, we have threes like this, don't we? Okay, let's just go one by one and make sure I've got everything that I can get as pairs. Sixes are in these squares, sixes are a pair here. As I mentioned, seven is a difficult number for me. Maybe not for you, but for me it was. Nine's still a pair up here and still a pair up here. Right, that's it. Actually, I don't think that told me anything that I didn't already know. Um, so I've got to finish off the grid with the other pencil marks, the missing ones. Um, so I'll just go across the top here. One, two, three, four, five blocks across here. And so we can place five in those squares. Six is done. Seven, um, da -da -da, sevens, no, don't know anything at all about the sevens. They can go anywhere they feel like. Uh, eight and nine is in. Over here, one, two are in those squares. Three then can appear in those squares only. Four we have. Five, uh, well, five can unfortunately appear anywhere in the top two rows. Six. Hmm. Got ourselves a, um, a ninety degree T shape. Six there. Uh, seven. Not much help on seven either. Seven can go like this. And eight and nine are done. Let's have a look across this row and find. Five, seven, five, six, seven, and six, seven. Three numbers in three squares. So we can here remove the five and the seven, and here we can remove the five, the six, and the seven. Oh, what happened there? I took the wrong number. Sorry, I took the nine by mistake. How did I do that? Right, we should live with three and nine pair down. Now we do, yes, three and nine here. Um, okay. 
Right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, so down here, let's finish up this block. There's not much. There's not much to go. There's the six. Oh, that's in there. Sorry. Um, is it seven and two six uh, five seven? Seven can go anywhere, right? Okay. Sevens are anywhere we want to. And down here we are lacking two, which can go in any of those squares. We are lacking five, which can go in any of those squares. And we are lacking seven, which can go in any of those squares, right? Uh, down here I've spotted two, five, seven since these are complete. So I know that that 7 is no longer true. Over here I haven't finished the candidates yet, but anyway I do know there. So, so I want to make that. So. Uh, okay, let's get on. Uh, so down here we have one blocking like this, so as I think I said before, ones appear in those squares. Two blocks down here, but we know that two is in the bottom row here, we've got this two blocking this square. And I did spot that actually, when before I put in candidates, but I forgot to tell you. And uh, I, I couldn't find anything with, else with it anyway, so. Uh, so one, two, three, four is done, five. Hello, five, calling all fives. Ah, five blocks down here. Five is somewhere in the bottom row. And I also remember I did find that as well, but it didn't help me. So what else? Six blocks down here and six blocks across here. So we have ourselves sixes in these squares. Seven blocks down here. So we get ourselves sevens in those squares. And I think that's it. So we've got ourselves a single one here. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, indeed. So right to the end. Took me right to get right to the end to find a single, but that was where the one goes. One is here. Two is there. Two is down here, and this is not two. Uh, this one also means I must remove these candidate ones and place the one here and now since we've only got a seven there left and then the six will go here and this is a five of course and this is a seven then so four in this square and uh, when I get rid of the four and the seven I'll be left with a pair of three and six here Right now, uh, this seven also means we have to get rid of the seven there, like so. Let's, in fact, let's go through. One is actually finished already. So, what else do we know? Two fives. Saying this is the only place where a four can go now. Uh, and get rid of candidate four. Four is actually finished. And this five means this has to be an eight. And the five is in this square. Oh, sorry, wrong mode selected. Eight is here. Five is in this square. And then five will appear here. And so seven will be in that square. And let's get rid of these sevens quickly. And also that will be a six then. So we have six and seven, so this is a five here. Yeah. And this must be an eight. And five will be taken away from these squares. And this is a seven now. Putting a two in that square. And meaning that these twos can be removed. 
and something's wrong here because I see six, seven, I see five, six. Okay, so we've got seven already, so this has to be a six, and this will be the five. And seven appears in that square. Six is down here. So uh, once you get started with the candidates, really not much to do. It's just a matter of finding your way in, as always. Nine in the square. Three here. Um, the last number for this row is a 6, that's a 9 then, 6 puts a 3 in this square, 6 in this square, mm. 6 means this can't be 6, this is 6, and the last number here is a 7 then, so 5 here, 2 there, 7 there, 2 gives us 5 and the 2 here, 5 and the 2. Sorry, that took me a very long time, and I still needed the pencil marks to get in, but I thought I was going to be able to do it, but I just couldn't find uh, the right way forward. Anyway, that's it, um, and uh, maybe I'll be back in the evening when it's cooled down a bit uh, in town. Thank you, bye-bye.